All right, so moving down from the mode control panel there, we got uh, two really important screens which are kind of our main focus when we're flying around. Uh, on the left here, this is called our, our PFD, or the primary flight display, and this is pretty much where we uh, gauge uh, essentially like the, the flying condition or state of the aircraft. And uh, this, this tells us some very basic information that this is kind of stuff you learn from day one of flying, but uh, we still certainly use it you know, here in our, our day to day. But kind of in the center here, you have this artificial horizon. This tells you, you know, if the airplane is uh, pitching up or down, banking left or right. It'll also tell you if it's yawing left or right. Uh, on the left side here, this is the airspeed tape. This is where you basically tell how fast we're moving uh, through the air. And on the right side here, this is our, uh, our altitude right here. And uh, also on the far right here, this is our vertical speed, so we can tell how fast we're climbing or descending. And uh, up at the top here, you can see uh, we, we reference these a lot. This, this right here is the, uh, the target altitude that we're asking the airplane to, to uh, maintain, and this is the target airspeed on this side. Uh, down right below that uh, is our little nav display. And uh, this is pretty much telling us where we are in relation to uh, a given course we might be trying to track. And it's also, as you can see, kind of a compass setup, so we'll, we'll always know our heading um, uh, from this instrument here. And uh, there's this little uh, heading bug you can kind of see. There's another part of the, the autopilot tie-in that we talked about before, or one of the things we kind of control up top of the mode control panel. Uh, down below that uh, is our MFD, or multifunction display. Uh, most of the time we kind of leave it in this map view and can kind of see where we're going. Uh, right now we can see that we're in uh, Chicago here. We've got a course line out um, from there to where we're going to be flying. Kind of see some nav aids around us and the various airports. Um, this right now isn't really displaying much, but it's a, a vertical depiction of where the airplane is um, in a given vertical profile that might be asking it to, uh, to fly. Um, but also this, this display serves other functions as well. Um, it's also our main page when we can look at system synoptics. So we have a, a status page here. We can see various uh, parameters of you know, the engine, brakes, um, battery voltages in this case. Uh, this depiction here just shows what doors are open on the aircraft right now. Uh, there's a flight control page where we can see uh, where the flight controls are, if they're you know, neutral, moving up, down, left, right. This also kind of tells us the status of each system. Right now everything is off, so it's kind of in a cautionary uh, display there. Uh, the hydraulic page, also same kind of thing. Right now, you can see there's no hydraulic pressure on the aircraft, but uh, if we were to bring the hydraulics on, you can see all the systems kind of power up, pressures come up. You can see everything's in the green. It's kind of normal how we see it in flight. Uh, down from there uh, is the fuel synoptic page. You can see how much fuel is in each tank and where the valves are, uh, how fuel is getting to the engines, essentially. Uh, an electrical page it kind of shows us how the plane is being powered and which buses are, are powered up at this point in time. And as I mentioned before, right now we're on ground power. And you can kind of see this is feeding all the systems in the airplane right now uh, to kind of get power to itself. Uh, ECS, the environmental control system, you can kind of see uh, once again the temperatures uh, in the back of the airplane and, and how the, uh, the plane is getting its air conditioning. Uh, there's an anti-ice page. And once again, this, this is kind of what we talked about before. Um, the engine cowls and the leading edges of the wings uh, all get heated uh, as we fly through uh, freezing precipitation or icing conditions, essentially. And that's where we can kind of uh, keep tabs and monitor that. Um, that's pretty much it for the, the functions that we use. There's a few other maintenance functions down below that we don't really talk about. Uh, over to the right, uh, this is our ICAS. Uh, just basically tells us uh, Information about what the engines are doing, uh, how much fuel is on board, um, oil, uh, pressure and temperature there, engine vibrations. Uh, also, this tells us where the flaps and slats are, our trims, uh, cabin pressurization uh, information there, and the landing gear condition. In this case, we have down and three green. <laughs> so we're on the ground here. And this part is really important up here. This is uh, where we get uh, various messages about um, what is going on with the airplane as far as different statuses or things we might want to be warned or cautioned about or, or things that need addressing. And uh, this is uh, a, a pretty central part of the panel that we go to a lot for, for various reasons. Um, and then on the first officer's side, he's just got a, an MFD and a, a PFD of his own. And uh, pretty much a mirror image of uh, what the captain's side will show.